Let me bring to the show my next guest this morning, uh, Youssef Oshimari, CEO of C Markets. Good morning, Youssef. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Alexandra. Very pleased to join you. Uh, Youssef, we do see the oil price heading for a third weekly rise. This is really incredible considering where were prices just one year ago. I was wondering, is there any more space for growth? Um, certainly, um, price, uh, if you ask any uh, oil market forecasters, including myself, um, I didn't think anyone would have predicted the prices uh, to uh, exceed $70 in 2021. And looking at the, our best case scenario last year, uh, we thought prices at their best scenarios could be between reaching 60 to maximum $65. But certainly we're seeing a, a significant increase in the prices and that was mainly due to, of course, uh, inflation levels. Of course, the dollar continues to be quite low and this is supporting prices of all commodities. And one major factor here is the U.S. shale oil production, which is fixed at almost 11 million barrels since the beginning of the year. So this has acted as a, as a as, let's say, as a major supporter, of course, in addition to OPEC Plus Cuts, which has been doing very well in terms of compliance. Um, uh, vaccines also have been a major, uh, another major factor and the, the speed of their all up. Now, looking if they continue to rise, I, in fact, I doubt that because uh, with any further rise in prices, I, I believe we could see a hurt in demand, uh, especially from uh, India, from uh, other major consuming, also China, and that can slow the global economy. So I would expect prices to n perhaps not go below above 73 or $74 at their maximum. And then we have another scenario, which is Iranian crude. And if that happens, comes we can see more crude coming from Iran, then that could bring prices below $70 in the second half of this year. Yeah, you've mentioned Iran. How do you interpret the fact that um, the Iran factor was not even discussed at the OPEC meeting at the, at the, at the last one last week? Um, well, as expected, um, because it's, um, it's just an issue of uncertainty and no uh, U.S. sanctions are still in place. Negotiations continue to uh, um, are, are still continuing, according to a recent statement from the uh, uh, the state secretary of the United States. That still uh, any possibility of lifting sanctions on Iran is uh, not currently c considered. So, and I believe uh, OPEC will only, in my own view, that pay, they will only consider the Iranian production if Iran starts officially to increase its quota uh, on an official data, not looking currently what they do in the, in the uh, unofficial uh, sellings to China or, or anywhere. I, don't, I think that they will only consider that whenever we see official numbers coming from Iran on raising their production more than three to four million barrels uh, equal to their uh, production levels before the sanctions. Then we can, I, th I believe possibly OPEC will consider um, an issue of redistributing of the quota and including Iran in the in the agreement. And currently, of course, Iran, Libya, and Venezuela are all exempt from the OPEC Plus agreements. I was wondering, what's your view um, on the U.S. oil shell sector? Do you think they're going to be back <laughs> pumping oil? Um, it's likely, but I don't think they will uh, increase their production to more than. Let's say I was optimistic, honestly, but um, we, now we see prices uh, reaching $70 and the number of rigs is not rising very much. Um, I don't think they will come back at their previous momentum, like 13 million barrels or so. Uh, and so I think that we could see something like 11.8 million barrels in, uh, 2000, uh, in, in, tw in 2022. Um, even looking at the latest forecast from the EIA, also, it seems that they are also not optimistic about a major return from the U.S. shale oil pr producers. And according to a statement from a major natural pioneers, which is a major shale oil pr producers in Texas, um, uh, it seems that they're keeping their production fixed uh, b because of the current pandemic level. As we all know, currently demand is still at 95 million barrels. And until we see a full demand recovery, then we can start talking about the major return in the shale oil uh, production. Uh, yet still, I don't think it could, it's, will be at its previous levels, like 13 and above million barrels a day. All right. This is very interesting. Thank you very much. Yusuf al